writing. Uh, she's the 11th of September, 1959. So big changes uh, for her mm. at the moment. I'm embarking on a new idea for a business and may have to leave my full-time job. What do you think? I think it's awesome, <laughs> straight off. But we'll look at the dish, but I just think go for it. Mm. Go for it, go for it, go for it. What are you waiting for? Again, you know, don't feel old. Don't feel like, well, quick, you know, I'm getting near 60, I've got to do something and I'm bored of what I'm doing. Yeah, get out of what you've been doing and do this new, fresh beginning for you because it's going to make you feel younger, it's going to give you more zest and it's going to give you some better money than what you're earning at the moment is what I'm feeling. But it will take a little bit of time. So I'm seeing 12 to 18 months, but I will do the um, scrying dish. So mm -hmm. which colour would you like? I'm going to go two of the pink. Two pinky pink? Red. Pinky red, yep. Okay. One... Two. Four of blue. Four of blue. Okie dokie. It's already looking like a little tree there. One, two, three, four. And three of green. Three of green. And Kitty, I'm going to ask you today. One, two, three. Two gold. Two gold. Alrighty. It's already looking quite mm. good, isn't it? There's a lot of arrows. Before I put it in, you can see the arrows. I feel like there's a real strong direction and momentum Very behind strong. Him. And look at the heart. It looks like a dog up the top there. With a, oh, it does, the, the with the little, little, the little puppy face mm. up the top. Mm. But there's also an, a wow. three. And it can also be an om sign like here. Oh, so that can be three true. days, three weeks, three months. There's like some it. changes here. Mm. A dog represents loyalty. So someone being very loyal to you. It can also be a seal, um, Steve. Yes. Which it means play. You know, this it, it, play around with your ideas. Be playful with it and be creative. Um, you know, come out of your box. But there's also some arrows down here. There's two arrows. So there's two different d directions you can take this. It's a perfect heart there as well, the green mm. heart underneath the, the dog's head. See the little when green heart When did you start doing this, heart? Rain? Mm, I, can see the heart. I can see the heart there. Um, just here. Yeah. I feel yeah. like the dog's got, um, gov uh, looking over, protecting the idea at the moment. Rain, when did you start doing this? Um, well, I've always been reading coffee cups. Yeah. So coffee cups I've been doing for a good 15 years. Yes. And um, then I started doing ink readings with water and ink, but you couldn't see it. Like I did a workshop in it and I was showing the people and they're like, where, where, where? And I was like, how am I going to make it that people can actually see it mm. and not have to be so clairvoyant? Mm. So I did a bit of Googling and had a look at different paints and art stuff. And this came up and I thought this is perfect because you can see it so vividly. And Nostradamus used to do this. Nostradamus was a great scryer. Mm. Look at the shoe, look at the foot. Can you see the toe here? It's sort of like oh, a little yes. bit of a boot here. That's really so, pronounced. And that is, and you've got a little bird on the heel here, which means you're putting your foot into new horizons. Go for it. Take the risk because you're going to love it. You're going to love what you do. And I feel like you're helping people with this. So we'll put some, oh, wow, look at that. Wow, look at that. Beautiful colours. To me, straight away, I felt a ladybird as soon as you did that. So um, a ladybird for me, you know, is about love, is about enjoyment. Um, there's lots of bursts coming out in the middle mm. here with the yellow. So that's showing that there's a positive, um, you know, the colour yellow is a positive colour. It's an exciting colour. Um, it's a bright colour. There's a warmth coming in. Um, I would go for it. I think this opportunity or this business that you're going to create is absolutely extraordinary. It's even turning into a little bird now. It's got a little bit of a beak happening up here. And then you've got the eye. And there's also a man, I presume this is a man in the green, but he's got his hand up pushing everything away. So there's somebody that's a little bit against what you want to do. It could be a partner, it could be a brother, it could be someone very close to you. But look at these colours. And on top of that, if you come, this is like a genie out of the lamp coming up. So you're going to have three wishes. This is definitely a lamp, you know? I dream a genie. Yeah. And out becomes. So for me, it's going to be extraordinary. Whatever you're doing is going to work so well. Even now you've got another bird here, which is a bit like the peacock. So you can see the, the bird yes. coming up here. That's More amazing. explosions. It's absolutely incredible. That's, that's a very yeah. good one, this one. Mm. And, um, He's going to emerge. Peter's like... going through her second Saturn return. So mm. for anyone who understands astrology, mm. at the age of 30 and again at 60 and again at the age of 87, the, the Saturn return mm. is life-changing. Uh, but, but this looks... is great. Mm. Peter's it really does. being watched over. Yeah. I, I, feel, I get the word patience. So I feel like, yeah. Rain, as you said, that the, the activity is going to happen very quickly. I think mm. there is going to be bursts mm. and it, it might just 
a little bit of patience because I feel like in Peter's mind it's a little bit like now. Yeah. So there's a bit yeah. of managing that. Yeah. I get something around August the 17th. There's some significance, mm. and I feel like mm. Peter, you're being watched over. We saw the dog early yeah, watching, watching over. Watching over. There's someone. August 17th, I'm getting a connection to watching over you, so... And even, I mean, look at the bird up here now that's that's manifesting, you know, yes. you, you see the... Oh, yeah. oh, 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 the, now this is what I'm talking about. Go for it. There is, like she just said, you have to wait a while. Once you've waited and you've sorted all the, the finer details, the, it just burst open mm. again, completely burst open. It's awesome. You're going to have such a good time with this, but do be patient, like Sheila was saying. Um, it is going to happen. Don't let people deter you from it. Because I think there's a few people there that are going, yeah, yeah, what are you doing that for? Like, you know, you're going to waste your money. You're wasting your time. Especially this individual up here. There's a bit of a grumpy lizard up here. But it's also got a spiritual connotation with a lizard. So whether you're working with a healing type of thing, a medical type of thing, something that is going to make people feel good, um, look at it growing. Look at the tree growing now. Yeah, it coming we, up? we saw tree early on. I feel like money tree. Yeah. But I think it's, yeah. I think it's definitely going to give you... Financial uh, abundance, there's some sort of financial reward, but I feel like you're going to feel very topped up and I feel like you're going to connect to more people now. Definitely. You're going to be talking to more. Definitely. And this will shift patterns. That's, that's the energy I, I get. I just have one thing keep coming up, something to do with computers or a new software or IT thing. Mm. Huh? It I looks like it's a new territory. Yeah, I feel like she will be spending more time behind a computer than she does now. Mm. Um, but it's, I feel like labour of love, I hear. Oh. You'll want to. So the connection to a computer, you'll want to. Well, that should be very yeah. inspiring. <laughs> now, totally. Yeah. And just Virgo. one more thing. See, she's a Virgo. Mm -hmm. And uh, see, Pluto's moving through Capricorn and it's two degrees off the 11th of January. But she's the 11th of September. Mm -hmm. So in astrology terms, uh, Pluto will be trining, which is a very good luck aspect. Right. And I see that going on for about four or five years. So she's, you've got, Peter, very, very good uh, relationship coming in around you. What a great reading. It's beautiful, the dish. It's just beautiful. Yeah, that, was, that was really beautiful. Really pretty.